Hello, it's Kate again from Push and uh, we are up to now video five, which is the fifth point in how to work brilliantly from home. And this one is called keeping the human element, which I have to be honest, I think is one of the most important things. You know, I have this real fear around people working at home for long periods of time and feeling incredibly isolated after that kind of initial novelty has worn off. And I think the point is, is that, you know, one of the reasons um, why flexible working has and hasn't worked to greater and lesser degrees is because people actually like being connected and they like being near each other and they like being in offices where they can come together. And if that's completely removed, then that becomes a challenge. I think we need to work out how to make offices work better and why we use them rather than just going to them all the time. But I do think that actually, um, you know, actually being quite isolated on your own is a, is a huge danger if the office element is taken away. So what do we do to stay connected? Well, first and foremost, you know, we've got so much tech now that being connected and being in contact with people really shouldn't be that much of a problem. You know, we've been very fortunate. We've swapped all of our sessions now to webinars, for example, or Zoom. Um, because that text there so it doesn't mean that anything has to stop if face the face-to-face -face isn't available to us do be careful though if you're using something like slack or you know it, the or whatsapp you know some of these things you can come across a little bit uh, defensive or maybe a bit short over text so be super mindful of that and of course if you get the opportunity get on something that is a face-to-face -face medium so that actually you still have that connection there Make sure you check in regularly, point two, with your co-workers, you know, so that actually you're holding yourself accountable, you're being accountable to them as well, um, you know, and you're really, really maintaining your workplace connections. We think that point three, morning stand-ups are an absolutely ace way to do this and to set the intention for the day. Um, so you come together, you get really clear on what the plan is for the day and who is going to be doing what. We quite like um, the whole uh, process of progress, plan and problems. And it can be done literally in five minutes per person. Finally, and not finally, sorry, point four rather, um, you know, everyone is different and be really mindful of that. Again, this is a brilliant time to start understanding yourself a bit better. And what I mean by that is that really get clear on how you work best and how your energy levels go throughout the day. Personally, I know that I'm really good in the morning at having lots of different meetings, for example, and then I like some more reflective work in the afternoons where I'm writing, for example, or doing emails so that I really follow how my mind works and how my energy levels go as well. And then finally, stay social, even if you are apart from other people. It is so easy to end up feeling lonely and more importantly, and this is the really terror, the real terror, end up having only a council of one, i.e. in your own head. And actually just getting out, talking to people, and be that on the phone or be that having the opportunity to do that face to face is really good for helping you have perspective and changing maybe your perception of what's going on, which we do think is crucial at the moment. Again, as ever, I really hope it helps. I hope this series has helped. And if you've got any questions, you know exactly where we are. We have also set up the Working Remotely Hotline for anyone that needs it on 07985 411 643. Just text that, that number and we will come back to you as soon as possible.